Okay, guys. <clears throat> We're going to try this again. So, uh, I apologize if the game glitches or what have you. Uh, I am currently downloading a game, uploading, um, well, technically yesterday's video. Uh, for me, it's still Sunday, but I've already recorded today's and uploaded it. Um, I've recorded tomorrow's, which uh, you guys probably watched yesterday. Uh, and now I'm recording Tuesday's episode, all on Sunday. Um, so I've got uh, the... If you watched yesterday's video, then you know that there's a glitch. Uh, the hard drive got filled up, and I didn't realize it and uh, ran out of room, so I had to marry the two files together, recompile. Uh, I adjusted the audio slightly to make it a little bit louder. Um, so hopefully you guys can hear today's a little better. But uh, So we're back on Seattle Sanctuary. Let's uh, clear out the tabs here. Let's switch back to Geo Freedom. Okay, and where we left off yesterday was uh, we grabbed the saw, we grabbed some logs. We're going to open the crafting window, throw the logs in, throw the saw in. We did some improvements yesterday on some on some tools. We did some mining. Um, we made sure to get the rest of the dirt and everything packed down. So we're, we're looking like we got a deed again, kind of, a little bit. Uh, we are getting a little low on food again uh, and water. So before we get started with the whole crafting thing, we're going to roll down the hill here. Oh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna slow walk it down the hill so that we can get some water. And we're going to make some planks. Uh, to get started on the bulk storage bin and the food storage bin. So we've got somewhere to put some of this food. And you know what? While we're running, we may as well do some foraging. Why not, right? Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find a couple of things on the way. We've got a couple of things. Hey, there's a cabbage. And a pumpkin. Some rice, sugar beet, pea pod. There's another rice. And some strawberries. Yeah, that'll give us a little bit of food. Okay, and I don't think we can forge here, but we'll, we're going to try. Well, we're drinking, apparently. So, nothing useful will be found here. That's what I thought. If it's in a water tile, if you can drink from it, you're not going to be able to forge any food. Okay, so let's start off with the rice. Because it's small. We'll knock those out. We'll do, I think, well, let's do the strawberries. We'll do the pea pod. And then what we have is sugar beets, cabbages, and pumpkins, and those are all heavy weight. Um, 
not really heavy heavy but they're <clears throat> they're one of the heavier um, foods so they'll give us more food than what some of the others will while we're eating the sugar beet and the pumpkin we'll start making our way back up to the cart where to go oh it's right there because you can eat while you're walking why are we going back to the cart well because the cart is where we've got the rest of the materials at and <clears throat> I think for now the smartest thing to do would be to continue where we have the loom over this way um, and build the food storage bin there. Uh, we can also put a bulk, bulk storage bin there. So we've got somewhere that's relatively close or, or what have you. I don't have a hammer or mallet with me, so I can't start a building per se. And that's fine. Okay, we are at 91, 92, 93. See, it's moving up really quick. Here we go, we stopped at 95. And if you watch, you'll notice the water's going down as well at a fairly decent clip because we're exerting ourselves more from having so much weight. Because it's already gone down potentially 5%, well, now 6% since leaving the water source. So that's why we have to really keep an eye on food and water. And at some point, it won't be so much of an issue. But right now, it's kind of an issue. Okay, now we're going to move a little bit little bit faster. Um, if you watched the previous episode, you know that uh, when I was pointing out paving in, I think, two episodes ago, um, packed dirt, we were moving at 13. Well, with this much weight, we're only moving at 2 uh, kilometers per hour. Okay, so... We're going to open this up. We're going to drop these sprouts because we don't need them. Okay? And then we're going to close the cart again because we don't need it open. We'll open this up. We've got all the stuff on us that we need. Hit the plank. Maximize. And create. And we're going to do some damage to our saw. And we should probably switch this back over to uh, carpentry. We're going to end up with some wood scraps. That's fine. We need, um, I believe it was 24 or 25 planks per. So we're going to be making a lot of planks. And unfortunately, some of them are going to end up being quality level one. Not a lot we can do with that. I mean, we're going to use it for the building, but there's not a lot we can do about it. <clears throat> so we are gaining some body control. Not a lot, but a little bit. Body control is what we need to be able to ride horses, and... Uh, command land based vessels mine logic is what's needed to command water vessels we're actually gaining a little bit on both so making if you're trying to get your body control up trying to get mind logic up 
um, making planks is not a bad way of going about doing it. It may not be the fastest, but it will definitely still help. So let's see. 8.908. Um, okay, so we've got to go. So we're at eight, uh, 18, excuse me, 0 0.908335. So it's the last three numbers that we're going to look at for just a second. So we're at 335. Uh, 598 is the next step up. So we're gaining about um, 0 0.000350 ish per. So it's not a huge jump. We've got 16 planks so far. We've got a 60% chance. So we're, we're fairly successful at this. We're down to three logs. Out of the, I believe, five that we were carrying. We're only at 18 planks. 19 now, but... And we can actually open these up so you can see it takes four weight to make one plank. Well, that makes sense because it takes two weight to make the plank and two weight to make the scrap. Okay? Just so that everybody's on the same page here. See, we've got one log that we're not going to be able to get the max out of. There's going to be a little bit left over. We can't do a whole lot with that other than maybe some kindling or something along those lines or using it as firewood. And right now, I think... The uh, forge is still burning, but I'm not quite sure. I haven't been in there. But I don't believe it's been 20 minutes yet, and that was the last time marker that we saw in the last video uh, before coming out to the cart and ending it. And it's only been a few minutes since then. Um, I did uh, take a quick break before coming back to this. So it might not still be burning, but it might be. We can get one more plank out of this. That's 28. Okay, now we're done. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna grab all this wood scrap and all these planks and drop them back in here. Oh, the cart's full. Okay. So, what we're going to do instead then is we're going to sort by quality level. Go to the logs. We're going to take this log. We're going to try to take this log. We can't take that one, so we're going to drop some more wood scrap. Then we're going to take this log, and we can't do that yet. Um, can we drop, can't fit that, so we're kind of out of room on the cart, okay, well, then what we need to do, 
we can't drop that. <laughs> yeah, we're we're out of room. Um, let me see what we got going on here. Okay. Well, we do have another option. We can come over here, slightly out of the way, and we can take these wood scraps and planks and drop them on the ground. That's going to create a, a, a little wood bin or, you know, tool bin, whatever. We can still open this up. We can go back to our logs, sort by quality. We're going to grab this guy. Oh. I'm, I guess I'm a little bit too far. There we go. We're going to grab this guy. We're going to drop this guy back off because he's little. And then we're left with the lower quality logs. So we're going to do what we can with what we have. I think we can get two... Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go back to this and start sawing some more. And we'll put all of the uh, leftovers from here in that box as well. So can we open this? We can. All right. Now we can open this up as well. And we can say, okay, well, I want to take all those planks and put them there. And I want to take, do we have any wood scrap? We do. Right there. We're going to drop those in there. Now we've got the pile that's got everything on it. We don't need the cart. We can continue to drop this stuff so that we don't get weighted down. And just keep creating. It looks like this log we're not going to get full out of either. So um, we'll get what we can out of it and we'll dump it back on there as well. Then what we'll do is we'll take those two logs, the two garbage logs, and we'll throw them in the, in the forge as, as uh, burning material. So the fire burns a little longer when we need to go back into the forge. I think what we should probably do is go grab that hammer at some point and at least lay out a foundation for a building. And that can be the um, the food room and, you know, where we put the, uh, the food storage bin and all that stuff before we start building it. I'm not going to worry about a flooring in there. Or maybe I will. I don't know. But we'd have to make the walls and everything first. And we kind of need the food storage bin, so... That's not to say we can't create another one, you know. Get some stamina back. Keep going.
take these wood scraps and drop them off. We can drop planks off. That gives us some more room. Oh, there's another wood scrap. Let's throw it over there. Okay, so we're going to start working into this 1.4 log. So we're going to get some not as good planks. But like I said, we'll get what, what we can. We're going to burn up these two logs best we can. Because we'll have more than 50, but we might actually grab one more log so that we've got a few extras to the side. Uh, let's see what we got. That one's toast, that one's toast, so the next one's going to be this one here, as far as quality level goes. We'll go ahead and grab that, I guess. Oh, and we didn't even check for the carving knife. I'm sure that's over there, too, in the mine. So we'll get the carving knife so that we can fix the... Uh, or improve the cart a little more. Carts have to be quality level 10 or greater in order to embark as, com as a commander. And then, of course, you need the skill which would be the body control to be able to command them. But you can drag around a cart that's quality level one. It's not necessarily recommended for very long, but you can do it. It'll allow you to carry more materials at once, for sure. Okay. Something kicked off to where we didn't have all the logs that we wanted. So we're going to keep going. Let's throw the wood scraps in there. We'll throw the planks in there. Oh, plank doesn't fit. So we definitely have, let's see, that's uh, 61 planks. So we'll finish these two logs off. I know you guys are probably saying, hey, you still had planks over here when you were calculating the 47. Yeah, I know. I didn't see that at first. I are not always the smartest one in the bunch. I don't notice everything. Not right away, anyway. Okay, now we've got one log left of three, three weight. We're at 62 right now. Don't think we can put any more. Nope, because we're at maximum of 100 items. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're, we can't make any more planks from this log. We're done. So we close that. We don't need this pile anymore, so we can close that. And if we go over here, just so that we're a little out of the way, 
we can drop these. I don't know why it separates them sometimes, but come on. We're going to put them all in one box so that we don't have multiple boxes. Okay. There. Now we don't have all the planks on us, the wood scraps on us. Open this up. We're going to open the logs up and sort by weight this time. So we want these ones here that are going to go with us. So let's see, five, that's 10, it's 15, 16, 17, 18. That's probably pretty close. So let's run off. Ooh. Got all spun around. We're going to have to fix the saw again. I don't think we can repair while we're running. Nope. That's okay. First things first, we're going to check this bin right here. There's the steel and flint. We might need that. It looks like we do because it looks dark back here. Um, there's our kindling. We don't seem to have a carving knife. So, we're going to have to make one. Um, steel and flint. Let's light this. Okay, and then we're going to select these. Oh, it's not going to let us. Okay. Let's do that. Burn. Can we combine these? Nope. Burn. Burn. Just going to burn all of them. Now we're going to inspect or examine 25 minutes. So what I probably... No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, that's fine. That gives us 25 minutes. A lot of the stuff that's inside is probably still hot. We're going to drop the kindling in there. We're going to drop the flint and steel in there. We're going to take this wood scrap. We have one small iron nail. We've got two more ribbons here. Okay, so we're going to actually put the wood scrap in here as well. And let's see. Yes, the items are still hot. So as soon as these lumps get back to glowing, we'll be all right there. Let's repair this. Don't think it's going to put it down. Let's see, 7.3. Uh, it might. If it does, we'll... No, nope. I was going to say, if it does, we'll just improve it again. But we don't need to improve it again. We actually can't improve it again right now. Uh, but that's that's fine for now. Now, um, while we're waiting for that, we need to grab... Oh, there's our hammer. Ooh, that's a garbage hammer, too. Uh, I don't really like using the garbage hammer. But that's what we have. So we'll let that heat up. Ooh, ooh. Stop glitching on me. That's probably due to the downloads and stuff. 
It's all right. Get up here. 15.4 based on the weight I have right now. Ooh, stop. Come on. And 13 even on packed dirt. So there's the difference. If you have 100 weight worth of stuff, you're not going to move as fast. Okay. I think this is probably going to be good. We'll move the... We got one. Hang on. Yeah, one, two, three. Technically four tiles, but we can move the, the farm three tiles back more. Let's activate the hammer. Plan building. Nope, not skilled enough. So we've got one, two, three, four that we can do. Well, let's Ah, come on. Remove the plant. Oh, okay, you got to remove this one first. And remove this one. Now we can go here. So we can do a two by two with our current skill. All right. What we want to do is make sure the door is over this way. Um because down this way is going to be more farmland. We don't want to go straight from the farm into the building. We want to actually follow the road. Um, or we can put the door over here, but there's no road going down that way. Okay. The other option is putting it up here. We're going to be expanding back this way, but I think it makes more sense to put the door right here. So we're going to finalize the building plan. We're going to go wooden, because I'm not a fan of the timber framed. We're going to go wooden. Let's do let's do a double door. Oh, need large iron nails. Well, guess what? We got a couple of them that we can borrow. Large iron nails, 16. Let's take... Let's see, how many walls do we have? We've got one, two, three, four. We've got eight. Ooh, that's going to cut us real short. That's okay. Let's take... Let's take the eight that we need to at least plan each wall. Okay? And I know that we're going to need some planks as well. And we've got plenty of those. So let's not take 19 let's just take eight of those so we can at least get started we are not building the building right now we're just getting it planned okay so build wooden double door okay now we can continue the door. Let's do a window here, I guess. So we can kind of look out of, on the property. All right, we're going to do a wall on this one. Do another window on this one. Let me 
both of these ones are going to be walls. Okay, this one will be a window. And this one will be a window. That way we can kind of look out. When we come in, we can see what's going on on this side. And then over here, we don't really need to see too much going on the, uh, with the farm, but it'd be nice to have at least one window. I think this was the window. Nope, that's a wooden wall. That's a wall. That's a wall. That's a wall. Wait, what? Oh, they all say wall. Okay, so we got to right click on them. Continue wall. Continue window. So we've, we've got a window right here. So we can look out and see kind of what's going on in the water and look at the, um, the garden. And then this is a window. So we can see out this way. So whatever view that, that uh, whatever view this one doesn't give us, we can come over here and take a look this way. We can see what's going on on this side. We can come over here and look around. We've got both of these ones that will show us what's what. And either one kind of shows us that mine entrance. This one looks like it shows a little better. Might just be the way, uh, or how far away I was. Yeah, kind of. But we can at least see the mine entrance. We don't necessarily need to see it from here, although that wouldn't have been a bad idea either. It's however you want to set up your house. We cannot put the roof on until the walls are finished. We cannot put the flooring in until the walls are finished. <coughs> but for now, we can still walk through the wall. Okay. Do, 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 do. Open the cart. We're going to go ahead and drop the saw back in there. Um, the hammer is going to go back, oh, actually, just to be on the safe side. We'll grab another log just to be safe. So we are going to need a few more large nails, and that's okay. We knew that we had lumps heating up anyway, so. All right, let's throw the hammer back in there. Oops, actually, let's repair the hammer first. Now we'll throw it back in there. Okay, so we've got the chisel. Uh, let's go with repair the anvil. Let's start with the anvil. See if we can get a better. Okay, now it requires a whetstone. That's fine. 
That's good, that's good, that's good. Those are iron knives, which they're cutlery. Um, so we don't need to do anything with that, and they require a whetstone anyway. We have the chisel, the pendulum, and the hammer. We could probably improve the hammer a bit. Um, where is the other? We'll use this lump first. Because it is. Oh, it's not going hot. Never mind. Okay, the large nails needed this one. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was the ribbons. So we need small anvil. Goes in there. Okay, and we'll look up the carving knife. Right there. Small anvil, iron lump. Well, we already have a small anvil. There's the carving knife blade right there. We have a 38% chance. We got four. Let's make a few more. And chances are six is more than enough, but like I said, we use large and small nails a lot in various different projects, so it doesn't hurt to have a few extra on hand. Okay, we're going to throw that one back in there. And we're going to put this lump in there and see if we can come up with a carving blade knife. We don't need three. We just want one. We're going to attempt or make each attempt into individual. A <laughs> carving blade knife. How about a carving knife blade? Yeah. Terrible results. I 
know what? Let's just go ahead and make three attempts at once, I guess. Maybe we'll have better luck. Hey, we got one. We'll let it go and see if we can get a second one. Nope. That's fine. We only need the one. So it's got to go back in there. Uh, the lump can go back in there for now. And the anvil can go in there. Okay, we don't want the tool parts, we want the tool itself. So this is we need one handle. And for the handle, <laughs> crude knife and a shaft. Um, I don't have any shafts. Da, 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 da. So for the shaft, I believe we're gonna need to go find. Yep, a branch. Let's go forge some trees. <laughs> this is all the, always the worst part. If you guys can get past the whole crude tools thing, you're better off. So, word of advice, don't disappear for a month and a half and expect your stuff to still be there, because it's going to decay. Um, I'm thinking probably back by the pine trees would be our better option. Oh, we may as well stop and put the nails. Uh, open. Back on there. I was going to drop the log over there too, but you know what? We'll just drop it in here for now. We'll grab it again before we head back over. Let's go see if we can find a branch. And in order to find a branch, you have to forage, just like you do with food. But you're going to do it on a tree tile. So like this one here, we can forage, but it's picked clean. Occasionally, and I mean very rarely, uh, in my experience, um, you can find them just randomly in the grass. But typically, you need to be on the on a tree tile. Oh, right off the bat. Okay. Well, let, I, you know what. We're going to see if we can grab a second one, just in case. Because I don't like having to look for these things. Wow. Maybe. Brown mushrooms are good for poultices, and I'm sure probably a few other things, but... Wow. 
Wow, not finding anything out here. Lingonberry. And yeah, you will find food stuff on the same tiles, but there's a corn. Black mushroom, same thing. The various different mushrooms are good uh, are used in poultices, and I think a few other things, but I'm not a hundred percent certain. There's a yellow one. We're gonna keep going down this way. If we make it to the water and we don't find another branch, then we're just gonna set a heck with it. There's an onion. Cotton, always good. A blue mushroom. As you can tell, there are several different types of mushrooms. Another lingonberry. We'll hit, uh, hit a few over here. Too far away. No, I'm not. I'm right here. A potato? Boy, they're not being very friendly to me today, are they? Another yellow mushroom. And yes, you can just eat the mushrooms. But, I don't want to botanize. I want to forage. Lingonberry. We got one more tree here. That's a wolf. In case any of you are wondering. Right there. Second branch. Last tree. Imagine that. All right. We're not going to worry about Mr. Wolf right now. We're going to kind of skirt around him. We're going to head back Oop. up here. We're going to grab the crude knife, turn these two branches into shafts. We're going to turn one of those shafts into a handle. Why did I need two branches? Well, because if I mess up the first one, then it gives me a spare. If I didn't mess up the first one, and for some reason I end up losing the other knife, I'm going to need another shaft. <coughs> Or I, if I need another tool and I don't, I can't find the uh, the carving knife. Yeah, whatever. Open uh, crude knife. So we're a little bit low. So we'll eat those three. And while we're at it, we're gonna open this up. And we're going to type in farmer salve. Okay, you need garlic and fat, huh? What? Um, okay, I have a different idea. Mushroom. What are you doing here? Search material. Search category. Okay, maybe it's in food then. As an ingredient. Why 
why is it not showing me? Um, give me just a second, guys. I need to look this up, I think. Come on. Okay. It says, mushrooms can be found growing in the grassy forests of worm. Mushrooms can be used, or I'm sorry, mushrooms can be found growing on grass, tree, or mycelium tiles, um, or when foraging for vegetables. Mushrooms can also be grown in a large planter. This is not for Worm Unlimited, uh, just so you know. We never got the large planters. Uh, that is worm online only. Uh, most mushrooms can be used in alchemy to make healing covers. Um, used as cooking ingredient or eaten directly. So, it's alchemy that we need, but it's not cooking. And it's not mushroom, it is where is skills character journal? Let me look here. Alchemy. Alchemy is a skill used for creating healing items or substances out of natural resources such as botanized items. Yeah, okay. So what it's saying is basically you activate one and right click on another. Um, but you have to have all the ingredients in your inventory in order to do it, um, just so you're aware. So you can use, for example, a potency of one um, healing cover. Oh, I'm sorry. No, disregard that. Um, for example, a cover of uh, made of garlic, which has a potency of two, and metals, which have a potency of three, would be um, would equate to a uh, potency of six healing cover. Um, so, like corn, onions, paprika, parsley, pumpkins. Reed plants, rose, wemp plants, wheat, uh, green coffee beans, and green tea leaves all have a potency of one. Just so, you know, uh, whereas uh, green mushrooms, lovage, rosemary, tooth, and nutmeg all have a potency of four. Uh, Wormpedia is a very, very resourceful site. Um, the, let's see what, what, ones it has for mushrooms. Black mushroom has a potency of five. Green mushrooms has a potency of four. Blue has three. And yellow has three. Brown has a two. Um, so they are used. So let's, let's try this out. Why not? I've never done this before. So yellow and let's say a black. Alchemy. Lore. You have no clue what would happen if you mix these. That's because I've never done it before. But let's actually let's waste the brown one first. Mix the two. You failed to create a healing cover. 
So obviously my alchemy is very low. Um, so I'm going to want to use the worst stuff possible. So I guess the best suggestion from somebody who doesn't know um, would be maybe start with potency one stuff. So corn, onions, parsley, pumpkin, that sort of thing. And combine the two of them. Um, until you get your skill up a little more. Then move to potency of two stuff, potency of three, so forth. I've never tried that. That's, you guys just witnessed my very first attempt at alchemy. I've never actually done anything like that before. So blue is potency of three. And yellow is a potency of three. So we're going to give it one more attempt to see what happens. Probably going to fail. Yep. But, I mean, okay. It is what it is. And yes, you can eat the mushrooms. They don't taste very good, I'm imagining. And they don't give her a whole lot of food. I mean, this one's only 0.4. So it's not going to fill you very much, but eh. All right, crude knife and branch, and we're going to create construction shafts, not crude shafts, shafts. And you can see there's not a whole lot left. I don't think we can attempt it again because I think it takes 1.1 each time because there's a little bit of wood scrap. So, if we go there, it contains too little material. That means both those branches are toast. So now I have a shaft. I'm going to right click on the shaft and create. Um, no mallet heads. We don't need a peg. We're looking for the handle. But you can also make spatulas, fishing poles, deed stakes, clay shapers, and arrow shafts with the crude knife and a shaft. Right now we just want the handle. So we're going to attempt a handle. And that's a QL18? Holy cow. go we got one well you know what since we can do that let's go ahead and put that in there and we can take the crude knife and put it in there there's the handle let's try to make a few more so we got a few extra handles you know backups for your backups it it all equates to skill gain so it doesn't matter how many make handles are made of wood uh, shafts are made of wood logs and branches are wood they all can go in the fireplace they all add fuel so you know at the very least all you're doing is skilling up and you still got firewood We'll uh, apparently make 10 of them. And then what we'll do is we'll take the best one and attempt to make a carving knife with it. We're going to have to get some water here pretty soon, too.
We've got three more to go. After this attempt, we're going to give us, give it a second to get our stamina back. And because we're low on water, it's going to move a little slower. Well, considerably slower, actually, but, you know. Now we'll try it again. One more. Now we got the ten handles. We don't need the mushroom. That can go on there. Um, the lingonberries. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and eat those. Get those out of the way. Um, we can close this window. We're going to... Find... Okay, there's the logs. So based on weight... There's the one we had before. We'll take that. We'll open this up. We can actually put whatever we're not going to use in that other bin. So we have an 8.65, which is going to provide us with a pretty decent um, Oh, we don't need the crude knife. It's going to provide us with a pretty decent carving knife. There's our butchering knife. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Let's shoot off this way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's shoot off this way. I know we need water. We'll be able to get some here in a second. Okay, we'll open this one, and we're going to take that one. So let's take all of these other handles and stick them in here. Close that up. We're going to go back here. Activate that, and we're going to burn that. Open. I'm going to throw those two scraps of branches in there, and we need the carving knife blade. Activate, right click, and create tool carving knife. Let's do it this other way. Then we can queue up more attempts. And of course, every time we fail, we're going to lose a little bit of quality on the handle. There we go. We got a 7.3 carving knife. Now, we head back out here.
and if we're successful with this we're kind of stuck because we don't have another log or anything else that we can use for the next stage of improvement but we're going to give this a shot activate the carving knife and it's getting to be nighttime anyway so right click just to make sure it's repaired all right really examine notice some notches you must carve away oh good gravy did I get it wrong Hang on. Okay. I'm looking guys, I'm trying to find trying to find what that's supposed to mean because the carving knife is obviously not working. I mean, we needed the carving knife anyway, but
I'm not seeing anything right now. So I'll have to do some more research on this and see what I can figure out. Um, Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's requiring a file or hatchet or just what the deal is, but I, it, it's obviously not the carving knife. Um, so I will... Oh, duh. It's right in front of me. It says carve. <sighs> Genius. Just must use a file to smooth out the cart in order to improve it. So now I need a file... We'll work on that next episode. Um, as it is, it's starting to obviously get dark. And this is, tech for me, episode three. So this is at least, I don't know, three and a half, four hours, maybe longer uh, worth of recording. <clears throat> um, back to back. This is for Tuesday's episode that I'm doing on Sunday. Um, and my supper's ready, and I've got some other stuff to needs to get done so we're just going to leave it right here we've got a building started for our little farmhouse not really a farmhouse more like um food storage um shelving cooking area i, I don't know maybe that's the kitchen area I, well i haven't decided uh, but uh we're, we're making leaps and bounds uh we're striding forward trying to get some stuff really accomplished in a short amount of time um, we've got a lot left to go, so stay tuned. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed uh, the episode. If you did, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any uh, tips, tricks, suggestions, comments, questions, whatever, leave them down in the comments below. If you feel like joining uh, the Seattle Sanctuary, Seattle Sanctuary server, if I can talk right, um, it is free to join. We're open to anyone. We just ask that you keep your drama, you know, at the door um <clears throat> we're here to have fun and i'm sure you are as well um if you have uh any issues um or get stuck or whatever uh i mean there are so many of us on the server that are willing to help out um i mean we're not a huge server um we're limited to uh maybe a couple of dozen people that are actually playing um hoping to grow the numbers but you know, uh, it is, <clears throat> um, it's a pretty good server, uh, and I'm not just saying that because, you know, I'm the one that, that hosts it, but, or has started it, um, but, uh, just the community here alone is, is really cool, um, and, you know, I, I, they think I'm joking, but I, I tell everybody, you know, it's not my server, it's our server, because that's, you know, that's how I feel. This isn't my server. I do the work on it, um, but at the same time, everybody else is doing work on it as well. Um, everyone's working to improve different areas or new starter, t not starter towns, but different towns that you can go to or settlements, deeds, whatever. Um, <clears throat> uh, we're working on putting in a a uh, new little, you know, starter combat area for live combat, so you can fight some, you know, maybe some skeletons, rats, whatever. We, we're, we're working on it as a community project, uh, and that, to me, says a lot. It's not just me doing all the work. Um, the community is getting involved, and they're, they're putting in their fair share as well, which is why it's our server. Um, if you want to support the server, there's a link down in the description. Uh, feel free to... to you know, swing through and, and drop off a couple of bucks or, or whatever. Uh, the servers cost me, uh, there's, there's this, the North server here where the Iron Man saga is being recorded. And then, <clears throat> and then there's a tougher South server that has uh, a lot more aggressive mobs and they're, they're higher end, uh, not set for new players. Uh, this is a, uh, 
the the login server, the north server, is set for new players. The south server is for more experienced players that, quite frankly, are ready to get their 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 tail ends handed to them. Um, the aggressive creature count is higher. The types of creatures are more dangerous. Um, there are no real starter towns. There's one little town, um, and that's Kodiak. Um, and that's nothing more than a little trade hub. That's it. That's all you get. Um, South server is set up so that other, uh, so that anyone can come in and literally build the entire server as a player built server. Um, any road, any building, any item that's crafted, whatever is all player done. Um, I don't know of too many people that have gone there yet, but I've been gone for a little bit. So there may be a few new little areas that are being uh, worked on or whatnot. We may have some new players that I'm not aware of. I, I don't know. But if you feel like swing, uh, swinging through, um, you know, it's an open server, no password. If you feel like, you know, contributing a few bucks to the, uh, the upkeep and, uh, you know, paying for the hosting, um, that goes directly to Ping Perfect. Uh, I don't see a penny of it. It literally just pays for the server housing itself uh, for them to host it. Uh, like I said, it's, you know, I don't mind paying for it myself. Um, it's, a, it's a small price to be able to have a decent community. Uh, but if you guys want to jump in and, and you know, sh show your love, give it a little support, uh, it's appreciated as well. Um, there's a few other links down in the description, um, including... Uh, Old Bitty Gaming's channel. Um, I am very behind on my videos, so I don't know even know what she's up to anymore. But um, I will be getting caught up sometime throughout this week. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did uh, and you want to see more content, um, you know, hit the uh, the subscribe button, the notification bell, um, you know, so you can get notified whenever I put out a new video. And uh, that's going to be it for me. So we'll. You know, we'll see you in the next one.